Hello everyone, so today we're going to be doing this really cool intro animation which is very similar to Proactive Thinker's intro, well it's literally exactly the same apart from the fact that it's made in PowerPoint and it's going to be really easy and amazing so let's jump right into it to learn how to do it So, as usual, we start on a blank slide and let's change the layout to blank. Now, what we're going to do is we're just going to add a box here and just stretch out to where you want. We can fix this later. So, we're going to make this completely white and no outline. We're also going to go to design and change the background to black. Now, what we're going to do is we're just going to press home and create a text box and just write. Um, in a blank space outside the slide, just write whatever your your intro wants to be. So I'll write cham and then animations. Um, so there we go. Now what we're going to do is just change it to a font that you, that you like. So I'm just going to use the impact font, and we're just going to size this all the way up until we're at something that we like. So there we go. Let's just center that and go in shape format: align, center, align, middle. And then we're just going to make this a bit smaller to suit the, the animation. And now just double click on the second word. And we're just going to make that the complete negative color of the other one. So we're just going to make it, um, we're going to make uh, actually the first word. And we're just going to make that white. So it's going to be the same as the background. So right now you cannot see any of the words. Now what we're going to do next is we're just going to stretch this out. So what we can do is actually copy and paste this so that we can see how long we need it to be so we can go like this this basically you just need to find a good a good place to get this so if we just equally stretch this out then we can see that this is really the right the right size for that we need and we can just make this a bit smaller and there we go so you can see if i just drag across and do the animation manually with my mouse let's just make it a bit smaller this is what the animation would look like. That wasn't very good, but like you, you, you get what I mean. Let's just make this a bit bigger. Just lots of fiddling around. Now what we're going to do is just go to animations and create the animation effect of motion paths lines. I'm going to make right in the effect options up here. Now we're going to change the duration to actually 0.9. And we're just going to change it. And just, just click on this drop down box here and just keep everything the same here. And you can add a sound. So I'm just going to... Go other sound and just input this. I use I actually use this sound on my whoosh animation, um, this really simple whoosh animation in PowerPoint, which you can click and work out how to do that using the video in the top right hand corner. But anyway, I'm just going to use that. So that's the whoosh animation. You probably can't hear it because I'm using a phone audio. Anyway, uh, we're just going to click OK, and now we're going to click on this. Go to animation pane and just click on the animation in the animation pane. So that, so that we can edit it. We're going to pull it all the way until the, the the shape is completely covering the entire slide. And then what we do is we just press play all just to see how it looks. And there we go. It's a bit too large. So we can, again, fiddle with the shape and make it a bit smaller. See, that looks really, really good. So what we can do, we can either make it on click or with previous. So I like it on click. So let's just see how our final animation looks from beginning. Here we go. So that's how you make a really cool proactive thinker style intro animation in PowerPoint, which is really simple to learn. And I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and leave a like and subscribe down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.